I think that anybody working in the Russian media post February 24th has to be aware that what they're doing is part of an integrated military operation leading to war crimes, crimes against humanity, war of aggression, perhaps intent to genocide. There's just no way you're not aware of it anymore. People have left because they don't want to be part of it. Um, so you'd have to show that. You'd have to show people are aware. You'd have to show it's integrated. It's not just words. Genocidal rhetoric is not the same as intense genocide. Words are not enough. You'd have to show that the words are part of a system that prepares military operations. So the example that's often used, we would want to look at a case study like the bombing of the hospital in Mariupol. For weeks before that, there's Russian propaganda saying there are Nazi Ukrainian fighters in this hospital. This information leading to the enabling of a war crime. Yeah. Simply saying nasty things is not criminal. Yeah. So you'd have to show that they are part of a machine. But they are part of a machine. We know they're part of a machine. We know that the Russian media is integrated into state mechanisms. And, and I think you'd start with, with showing domestic repressions as well. You'd show how the media is used to go after opponents of the government inside Russia, how that leads to their arrests, how that leads to their beatings, sometimes their murder. They will, of course, say, we had no idea. We just say things. We're just given pieces of paper to read, or we are just giving opinion. You'd have to show it's more than opinion.